Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the programmatic navigation of the uh, routing pages in the Vue.js we have seen, right? Now, if you see our project, this is the view routing project. If you see the create post and uh, let it open. And if you see the, oh, sorry, it's down, it is there. Okay. If you see the create post and the post page, it is just dummy. It's an empty, something like that. Okay. If you try to see, it is an empty. So if you open here, so just we are simply showing posts and create posts, right? So we are showing only the posts and the create posts like this. So now it would be better that if you write some code. So the in the previous videos we have seen in HTTP requests and all those things we have seen, right? So let's try to implement that HTTP request and all those things in this routing pages so that for further going we will be it will be very easy for us. So it will look something like real time project and all those things. So basic card, card operations you will be able to see. So let's try to implement these are uh, the axios post and all those things in this video okay before continuing to this video as usual if you are coming first time to here please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that i'll be posting more and more front end development code okay coming to this one so this is the post right so what i can do here i can write h3 so post details or something like this i can write post details okay this is the post details and now here what i can write data and here what i can do so the same thing how we have written the previously post details is equal to array and what we'll try to do so when this post when this is mounted so we need to call the axios so i can go to the axios okay as you don't have axios let's install the axios here let's try to install npm install axios sorry axios so let it will take some time to install so let it install the Axios. Axios is installed in my system. Now let's try to run the server. So I am running the server again. Now minify this one. Okay, or otherwise we can close this one, not a problem. Here Axios. So I don't have so let's import the Axios here. Import Axios from Axios. Okay. Now here Axios dot get right. So get is the Thing what we'll be using so here if i go and if i try to take this url we know already how to configure the url also i have shown you so if you want you can try that one as a access something like that okay so then response i will be getting the response here so this is the response what i will be getting so here what i will try to do is dot format post so we need to format the post why because we will be getting object of object inside object so there is a reason i am formatting response dot data and here what we can do is so here we can write methods and here what i do reformat posts of post data or something like this whatever whatever we want we can keep and here i can loop over for let as it is an object key in so we'll be using key in post data and here what i will try to do is this dot post details dot push of so spread operator will be using the spread operator and here post data of key okay and i will i need to get the id also i can use this id okay so these are the post details now let's go top and let's design the ui so we will be having the table and i will be having here class is equal to table and what we will try to do here t head i can use the t head and here tr and here we will be having the th so I will show ID and here I will show the title and another one will be the description. So these are the two details what we are having. So here I can write T body and inside this one TR and I will be having. So I need to loop over VI fun for post in post details. Okay, this is the variable right post details and we need to add the key. He is the mandatory so we have a style guide in the vue.j style guide also i will try to explain that vue.j style guide also what are the uh, when developing the project how to follow the style guide also i will explain post of so i will explain it in the uh, last when uh, after completing the vue.js course i will tell you so what are the best practices to do in while developing the project so now here i can write post dot id and here what i can do is post dot title and here we can do post dot description okay so these are the three things now let's try to go and go here and here let's try to refresh okay 
okay so we have some error i think so here we have used lay so it should be let now if i try to create post we don't have anything in the post if you go here you are able to see that we are not able to see the data why we are not able to see the data we have used complete post.json okay response.data and we have seen everything so we don't have the content or what so we have lots of content and if you try to see here post in post details i think the name is wrong or what okay so the name is correct only okay here <coughs> okay post.id now if i go here so we are able to see the post data but the table is coming somewhat compressed let's go to the app.view here okay here i have written m md hyphen okay now if i go so this is the total post details now what i will try to do is create post so let's try to build the create post here also so let's go here create post and i can write here h3 i can write the create post so here it will be a form same thing what we have developed previously same like that only we are developing okay so label so it's better to practice more and more if you the more you practice the confident you become okay so that is the reason i am writing it again why because so if you see the code and if you try to practice the more so you will be becoming more confident in the coding okay so that is the what i want to explain to you so here we have written so here i can write vif model is equal to title okay so now i can copy this one all control d and here i can write description and here we can remove this one all and i can write text area and class is equal to form control okay and vif model is equal to description okay so this is the basic thing and here i can write the div and here i can write button create post okay i can write it like this and here what i can do is type is equal to submit you can use type is equal to submit and also i can write class is equal to btn btn hyphen primary okay so this is the thing what we can do and here so we have submitted the thing and well, let's go and here we can write data and data here so written so we have already they are written right title is equal to model we have description we have the description also and if i write, try to write the methods okay so you'll be having the methods here and now what i can do create post is there right so form at the rate submit dot prevent at the rate submit dot prevent what we can do is here on create post okay <clears throat> on the methods what we can do here on create post so we need to submit the post so here i can write axios okay axios dot post i can do and here what we need to do is the same thing so what we have in the post the same url but it should be a post request post request means what it will do it will try to submit so now i need to send the data here title this dot title and the description this dot description okay so this is the thing what we can do and here if i try to remove this one okay fine now dot then okay so now when it got success okay when it got success we need to send it okay so dot then response so we can do the console.log response here if you want and here what we can do this dot so i need to go to the this dot dollar router dot push and here i can go to the post page again so in order to see the data so this is how we can do it now if i try to do this one so what it is having on create post methods okay methods we have kept the semicolon i think so here data written we'll copy it here and we'll do the comma and here we have the methods up to here okay you can remove this one if you want this is the thing okay so little bit of uh, index problems okay now i will try to submit the data and if i try to create create so it went to the create post c 
So if you want, you can also check here by deleting all the posts here. Okay, I deleted all the posts. So here, if I refresh, so there will be no data. I can go create post here. I can write whatever the data I want here. And if I click on create post, so here we are able to see the post has been created. Okay, so this is how we can <coughs> interact with the database, and we can you navigate from one page to another using the axios and also the using the view router. Okay, so just I I designed you for in order to know. The combinations what are the concepts all we have learned i applied the combinations now in the next video we will see about the dynamic root mapping okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you